Hi, I'm Joyce, the Energy Lady. I'm going to introduce you to, to you something fun and new that I'm going to be doing. For the next 10 weeks, I'm going to do a 10-part series of living life in the safety zone. What does that mean? Well, I love football. It's probably one of the one sports that I really love watching. And um, the position of the safety, you know, all football players have a certain position they play. Some of you are probably listening to me and going, you don't know anything, Joyce. I do know the role of the safety is to make sure that nothing big happens. The safety on a football team makes sure nothing big happens. Make sure no touchdowns happen. Make sure that nobody gets hurt. So when that's safe, if that's the role of the safety, what is the role of safety in our lives? If we are living in the safety zone, what is the role of safety in your life? And how does it play out? Where do you see you playing safe in your life? And how is it working for you? How does it um, show up in your life? In what areas do you see it? And um, what is it doing for you? And what is it keeping you from? And look at all the areas in your life where safety has been beneficial. I mean, safety is one of those big hierarchy of the needs. Uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, safety, stability, security. And if you ask people what they want, they're always going to say, I want stability. I want safety. I want security. And yet, if we play in that sandbox or in that field of safety, what is it doing for you? How is it working for you? I know people love it. And I have to be really honest with you. I love comfort. I do. And say, comfort is just a side effect of being safe. And so when I say I'm going to be speaking about this, I'm really speaking to myself. But it's been on my mind for a very long time. And it's something I talk to clients about all the time, every day. Because I'm always trying to get clients to expand their containers and to move out of what they're used to doing and what's, what's the usual, what's the everyday, what's the commonplace, what is safe. So I'd like to ask you before the series starts to be thinking about this. Where do you play safe in your life? How is it working for you? Is it benefiting you? Is it keeping you from something? And are you wanting to get out of that comfort zone or that safety zone? And do you want to quit playing the role of safety? I love the safety on the football team, especially if I'm for a team that I don't want to win. And that safety stops and, and keeps touchdowns from happening. So I'm all about safety in that area. And I'm about safety... In fact, my whole life I've been about safety. I've probably lived my life pretty darn um, safe. And I don't know if you remember this saying, but my mom was my safe place growing up. She was literally my safe place. My dad wasn't safe. He wasn't kind to me. So um, my mom was my safe place. So someone told me the saying, if you step on the cracks, it'll break your mother's back. Do you remember that saying? Well, I took it literally, literally as a child. And when I walked to school, I made sure I stepped over every crack because I did not want anything to happen to my mother. I wanted to do whatever I could do to keep her safe because she was my safety. She was my safety zone in my home growing up. And so in adolescence, we're looking for safety because there's a lot of homes that have that many people have grown up when that were not necessarily safe. So write some things down, get prepared for this because we're going to delve into a lot of different aspects of how safety plays out in our lives and where it's keeping us from having the things we want. So I look forward to talking to you again about all this. See ya.